I do like the quad exhaust undertails. Those are sick. Maybe coming soon to the channel. Whoa, what did I say? What did I say? I Nothing. Nothing. Cut. <laughs> Bro, we got three full carbon Ducatis and each carbon is different. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back again on my beautiful V4R. Literally yesterday we put this bike on the dyno as well as a Super Legera. So if you missed that video, go check it out. That was the last video for you guys. And uh, if you guys aren't aware, spoiler alert, the clutch starts slipping at the end of the pulls. So I was like, let me take out the Ducati today. We are going to an exotic car bike meet, car meet mainly. Uh, but you know, we got Mr. MV somewhere in the back there on his F4RR Again, my V4R and Steve's also coming with his V4R So well, let's check it out. We've been to this meet a few times. It's always like a, a good fun time. So I'm looking forward to it and I honestly do not remember uh, It's this exit I was just about to say I was like I don't remember where I'm going because been a minute since I've gone here and I'm going completely based off memory but I think it's right here yeah I see a GTR right in front of me so it has to be here look at that with a Montana plate <laughs> right hand drive too sweet this meet usually gets pretty hectic oh did I miss Got a mountain bike is right here. Take this spot. <laughs> What's up, my guy? I know, been a minute. I got lost my homie at the light. Really? This is like one of my quietest ones. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Are you liking the HP 8 4 uh, It's a fun bike. I don't ride it much because it's a, it's a real race bike. Full on track bike. No uh, fans. Okay, right? Yeah, how you doing, bro? Nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to you too, man. I appreciate it. Is that Mediator fans or no? No, it's worse than the East Shore. It doesn't even have a kickstand, so I can't take it too many meets because I literally have to stay on the bike. So, and of course, no headlights, so I couldn't bring it today, but. There's some LED strips on there, you're good. <laughs> I'll just put a, like a, a lamp just on the helmet, on the helmet. <laughs> just blind people when I look at them. Like one of those really, you know, the yeah. really bright ones. Dude, I saw someone install like a 30,000 lumen flashlight into the BMW. I saw that video. There he is. Is that your buddy? Yeah. We rode together, but I don't know where I lost him. What happened? I thought you were right behind me. Oh, yeah. I stopped at the light. Oh, he stopped at the light. I was filming, so I was like, I don't know where you disappeared. I was like, where did this guy go? How you doing, man? You don't remember <laughs> Of course, man. Yeah. The signatures. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> nice seeing you, bro. I wonder where Steve is. We made it before him. Where are the Ducati bros at? Oh, yeah, Steve is coming soon. I was like, I got my Ducati. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it in the vlog while on FaceTime. <laughs> uh, the guy with the SVJ, he's getting his Technica back in one or two weekends as well. Okay. We're gonna do a in a couple weeks with this other guy, I think you should come for that as well. I'm down, bro. Cool cars, cool bikes. Let's do it. Let me know. All right, bro. Yeah, I'll check out the meet. Nice seeing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hit you up about the shoot. Sounds good, bro. Okay, let's walk around, check out some of the vehicles and whatnot over here. You guys were telling me about my stabilizer. I don't know which video I posted, but I vi posted a video where I was mobbing and everyone was like, dude, your stabilizer is messed up. And I was like, I know, I know. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, V4R over the H2R. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> the main bike I want to have is the R1M. R1M? Wow, minority. But it's a sick bike. I'm not going to lie. You can't. It's all preference. They're all sick bikes. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you, bro. Yeah, I was saying that you guys were like, oh, your stabilizer's shot and all that. So I was like, yeah, I know. But it's not that sketchy. So all I do is you can twist this right here and you adjust how stiff it is. Somebody was like, hey, can you guys move your bikes to the corner so another car can park here? I was like, nah. 
Nah. <laughs> Nicely, I was like, I was like, yeah. Nah. I mean, that, this is, the car can fit back here easy. What's going on there? Everyone's filming something over there. Which one would you take out of the two? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, mean, I like it. <laughs> He's a smart man. He's a smart man. <laughs> How you doing, bro? My watch you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go check out what they're filming over there. The Ducati, first time seeing it? Yeah, it was last minute. I was like, you know what, we'll take the Ducati. So, here she is. It's good for nights because it's hot and it's cool at night, so it runs really nice. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. See you around, bro. <laughs> oh, that's the GTR that we saw pulling in here. The turbo noises. It is so packed here. The thing with this meet is that there's always way more people in cars like how Wait, where's everyone coming from is that a baby blue aventador or something like that over there my field of view is pretty limited in the helmet so i feel like i i'm about to run into people all the time oh this is a 2jz lambo we've seen it a lot before e, this caught my eye from a mile away baby blue aventador this is beautiful this gold's right here gold's right here are you okay yeah how are you doing man nice to meet you man nice to meet you too <laughs> appreciate it bro thank you yeah for sure bro Nice meeting you, bro. Bro, it's so packed. How are you doing, bro? Good, how are you? Good, good. Woo, it's so crazy. Oh my god, the, the lights are blinding over here. Sorry, I got blinded by the lights. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Good, good, how are you? Might as well. How are you? <laughs> the whole squad is here. It's so packed. And I I majorly got blinded by that. I was gonna dyno tune it. It's already tuned, but the tune was already good. We ran on the dyno, the numbers were good, the graph looked good, so we didn't adjust it pretty much. I'm gonna go check out the mess and I'll be back. What else? What else is going on around here? Oh, I forgot that there's a whole like huge parking lot here where everyone's gonna park there pretty much. And then come here versus we just go in and park somewhere. Yeah, how are you doing man? Nice to you too, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Nice meeting you. How are you doing, bro? The Ducati. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's over there in the corner somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> nice meeting you, brother. Oh, Liberty Walk. A neon Liberty Walk. That's loud, but I like it. Thing is with cars, that I like so many cars that it's wow. The party is like right where. Our bikes are. I'm trying to make it back to the bikes, but it's so packed. Huh? I want one of these someday. I know. This thing's so slammed. Liberty Walk. Ah, let's go this way. Crazy because the meet like recently started, so this is gonna be so hectic. Oh, there's bikes over here. Let's check out some of the bikes. It's Twin Turbo Z, full carbon. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Bikes. Summer, man. A lot more bikers than usual. I hear another dark clutch. That has to be Steve. I don't see him at all though. I do not see him at all. I hear the dark clutch, but I have no idea where Steve is. Steve, point or where you are in the video. I don't hear the dark clutch anymore. I wonder if he parked. No, I still hear it. There he is. <laughs> Hey, Steve made it. Dan made it too. Let's go. How are you doing, man? Yeah, for sure, bro. Appreciate it, man. The Ducati, it's over there. For sure, bro. For sure, for sure. This is my second time seeing you. I saw you at Santa Clarita. Or Santa Clarita. I was like, Santa Clarita? I was like, that's deep. I was like, I don't think I've been there too many times. For sure, brother. <laughs> oh, that's a great compliment. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> For sure, bro. Nice meeting you guys. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Oh my god, baby kittens. <gasps> He's probably like, what? Did you guys see the baby kittens? That was adorable. Too cute. Too cute. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with Steve? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh shit! Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? What the? Come on, bro. Bro, insurance claim runs into me. What the hell, bro? How's <laughs> the ride in? 
It was fun. We got here. Fight with my beer trimmer. Ah, that's why you were late. Dude, I was trimming, and the guard came off and took my whole mustache off. I was like, oh well. Rip, rip. Like baby K. <laughs> Roast him in the comments, please. <laughs> All the ducks are here. The boys are here. Oh, there's a random Lambo that just pulled up. Oh, it's a very aggressive, crazy diffuser. I like this and wink and everything, I guess. I mean, I feel like it's an obvious question, but I want to hear you guys' opinion. A nice modified Huracan or an Aventador? What you think? Whee! The ducks, baby, the ducks. <laughs> Two! I'm winning! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> A pull, yeah. Just votes. Oh, there we go. oh! How much did you pay her? How much did you pay her? I'm dead. Okay, we should line them up so we don't look like this. Wait, who's this that one? I like that one more than I like this one. I'm Thank sorry. You. It's okay. It's okay. I like the colors of this one, but this one is. I do like the black, you know what I mean? Should we, should we do like put like all three like back against the pump? So like tire back this way? I think that'd be cool. No? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Rear tire facing yeah. the pump? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. Alright. Mr. MV is, uh, got the tables turned on him. Someone is selling him an MV instead of him selling MVs. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. I'm trying to get a bike, too. Do it. Send it. <laughs> Just gotta send it and be safe. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. I guess uh, we shall pause here. This is nice over here. I didn't even notice this in the start. I'm just trying to get one last shot. For sure. <laughs> awesome. Of course. Thank you. How you doing, bro? For sure, bro. <laughs> Dude, I've been watching you for so long. Appreciate it, man. I Thank you. Of you from a long time One sec. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Nice meeting you, brother. <laughs> nice meeting you. Let's do it, bro. You want to do it by the bikes? Sure. sure. Might as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got the V4? Yes, sir. It's an Italian type of day, if you yeah, couldn't yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I looking at this camera or this <laughs> camera? <laughs> this camera, this camera? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's me too, bro. Right save, yeah? yeah you we'll try. <laughs> Alright, boys. As I was saying, appreciate those three. Of course, Jose has to be a... Uh, Jose, I guess. I, I don't want to say anything mean right now. <laughs> Just Jose being Jose. I was like, well, let's line them up all nice and all. It's okay, though. They still look good. The three Italian beauties. That's a view and a half. Whew, I love night meets. It's just such a need for speed on a ground. Fast fingers. For sure, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. It's just a, a vibe. Night meets are my favorite, for sure. But, unfortunately, you guys don't like them as much because you can't see as much. But, I don't know. It's just more of a lit vibe. Underground. Fast fingers step of shit. Mr. MV, what happens? The turns have tabled. Is someone selling you an MV now? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got a Senna, which I want. I want the first year That's before, right? so funny. But then it's actually kind of better. It's all uh -huh. carbon fiber bodied, and it just has like red Senna graphics on it, which is kind of cool because I don't want one that's all original because I want to mess it up. So you're going to get it? Maybe. That'd be cool. I didn't know too much about them. So when you get one, tell me more about it. 2007. It's like, it's old. 2007? Wow. I don't even remember what I was in 2007. I was a child, a baby. He's at four. I just told some guy like, "Hey, nice MV patch on his jacket." And he's like, "You know what this is?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> he's like, "Do you know who I am, Mr. MV? Do you know who I am?" <laughs> I was telling him that you're, you know, just you being you. I was like, "Yeah, let's line them up all nice, and you're all crooked and messed up." But I do like the quad exhaust undertails. Those are sick. Maybe coming soon to the channel. Whoa! What did I say? What did I say? I Nothing. Nothing. Cut. <laughs> I got a bunch of carbon on the way, but you know how it is. Yeah, trust me, trust me, I know. The I Did I tell you about the carbon pieces for the H2R? Seven to eight months. I'm not even sure if I want to buy them. There's like three or four pieces I'm getting from this company. It's the only company that makes them, but it takes seven to eight months. What do you guys think? Should I order them and wait until literally 2025 to get them? Or I feel like I have to because they're the only one that makes it. But I'm like, bro, 
That's like, I'm literally going to forget about them. Like carbon wheels don't even take that long. Rotobox killed it. They actually got my H2R wheels faster than expected. So that was even cooler. What else? Oh, I wanted to update you guys that yesterday when me and this dude took the V4R to the dyno, uh, I actually ended up buying full titanium headers for the bike that should be coming in a month or two. Because it already comes with a titanium slip-on. So, whoa, 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 you're saying too much. But yeah, it already comes with a titanium slip-on. So we just got the titanium headers ordered yesterday so that when the bike comes, it's going to have a full titanium system right away and then we need to tune it and boom ta-da i was just talking to those kids and they were like oh dude i really want to learn how to ride what do you recommend i was like don't die be careful and don't wear a fuzzy helmet <laughs> this guy <laughs> as you're saying this you're gonna zoom in on your face and then zoom in on that <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. All right, all right. I've been trying to pause this video for the past like 10 minutes. It's always like that. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it right now. We'll hang out and then I guess around. we'll ride it. I did. Yeah, we'll, we'll go look around. Yeah. Round two, I guess. But yeah, cut. We'll film when we leave out. If we ride, if we do anything, but whatever. Obviously, like we're gonna ride out, so we'll film that for you guys. But yeah, before our two X2 and a random Italian bike. As well. I don't know what that brand is. Yeah. Definitely not Ducati. Yet. Definitely not. <laughs> what? What's the question? Is it slipping? Uh, I didn't really push it. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I didn't like go at all. I was just like riding normal. Yeah. Think about it. It's a V4R on the dyno, which makes it even hotter. There's not enough airflow. And we did like 10 to 15 pulls. It's a lot of pulls. But the super leg didn't slip. But also, I do think we definitely did more pulls uh, with this thing. Super leg so. ridden a lot less. The thing is, though, is like a thousand miles on the clutch is... A thousand miles? Not even, like eight, about 800 miles, bro. On the clutch is ridiculous for it to be slipping. But yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Like it rides good. You know, it's not slipping like bad because I just rode it here and it rode fine, normal. I just want to definitely like maybe on the way back when it's more empty and all, I'll get on it a little bit. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we shall see if she's slipping or not. I highly doubt it will, but you know, we'll test it out. Figure it out. All right, we're going to look around. Yeah, be right back. <laughs> I don't know where the bike is. Right here, right here. <laughs> there we go. Nice to meet you, bro. Thank you. What's up, brother? Oh, what's good? That's you? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. Looking good. Mister, I don't have an Instagram. I do now. You do? Wow. Let me, I'll get you back now. Holy, a full forged carbon build. Quite the upgrade. I know him. I've ridden with him before. <laughs> that is wild. Bro, we got three full carbon Ducatis and each carbon is different. <laughs> How are the cops not here? That's crazy. Three full carbon ducks. For sure, bro. Let's do it. I also want to ask a personal question. <laughs> yeah. So, I want to get a bike when I'm older. Okay. But the issue is... I have no money, and my parents are telling me to get some driving experience in. I mean, you got, what do you mean driving experience? Like in a car? Yeah, like in a car. Like, I haven't drove yet. I'm 16 right now. Uh, I mean, I get where they're coming from to get driving experience so you can be comfortable on the road. So I get that. If you want to, it will be, I do would say it's a little bit more safe if you like drove first before you got on a bike. Uh, actually, I rode motorcycles on the street before I drove a car too. Uh, that's what I want. But I will tell you, well, the thing to do is the MSF, MSF, Motorcycle Safety Foundation course. They teach you from the ground up and they teach you like good things to think about, like to get your mind right to, to be around cars. That's, and then know. also, uh, should I start on a 400 or a 600? Uh, I would say a 400 just because you're new on the road altogether. You know what I mean? Usually I tell people you can get away with 600s, but because you're literally new to driving, riding, being on the road, get a 400 get comfortable with it first because uh and then eventually i'll like you'll move up you know you got time bro you're young as hell uh, you're like an inspiration to me because like i always watch your videos and i see you always passing here and i was like as soon as i saw the v4 i was like i knew this guy here. <laughs> and i was looking around i was like damn he's there right there in this tank top shirt because you like that and always it's it's nice it's summer man <laughs> all right brother Woo! i know it's wild am i gonna be on the video hell yeah is it rolling yeah, it's rolling. All right, you're going to be in it, bro. You, of course. Appreciate it, man. Ride safe, yeah? Hopefully next time I'll see you on a bike. For sure, bro. Hey. <laughs> time to go home. We got here early, but I'll get your uh, IG since now you have an IG. What is going on? Oh, it's stuff from the fireworks. I was like, I feel shit on me, I swear, bro. Oh, you got the new belly, updated belly too? 
you're doing the same thing. Look what I did with mine. So, see what I did on mine, I removed these and I got a titanium bowl and just put it there. So it doesn't look weird. You can see it right there. Because I, I kind of like the exposed pipes. So it doesn't look, you know, weird. Yeah. Or as weird at least. So you're doing anything else for you? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm a probably, I want to do like an entire like brake system. So in different calipers, a different rotor. Uh, I might do the forks. I want to get the Super Leggero forks and fork lowers. So this piece right here is some nice like machined aluminum fork lower. Are you going to get the, the floaters? The rotors, the floater ones? Yeah, pretty much. The, what is it called? Yeah, floating rotors pretty much. But I got to do the front setup and all that. All right. You guys ready? Let go. Hell yeah, bro. Let me know on the IG. We'll ride or whatever. Let me know on the IG. It's wild and out here. Let's go, baby. As Steve said, no lights. <laughs> I have my high beams on. Oh. Yeah, you guys see, this is super stiff because of uh, the steering stabilizer. Me stiffing it up manually. Turn radius isn't the best with these clip ones. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That 720 is mobbing. <laughs> At least they're entertained doing all the work here. Why is there so much traffic still? I thought the roads were gonna be empty. I mean, I did do a pull, so pretty much a red line in the lower gear and it didn't slip, so. So far it seems good, but we'll do another pull in a little bit. <laughs> did I see it just a flame from the back of that exhaust? Steve, replay that in slow-mo and like zoom in on it. Huh. I could have sworn he shifted and I saw a little mini flame from that up four. Still very shaky. Go. 
Later, sir. I mean, it's running good, it's not slipping, but it's definitely way too wobbly. <laughs> oh, what a fun rowdy bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, right side.